11 hours ago, something impossible happened. An object from outside our solar system split perfectly in two. One half vanished completely. The other half began transmitting signals toward Earth. This is interstellar evidence. What you're about to hear will challenge everything we thought we understood about physics. If you're watching this, you're witnessing history unfold in real time. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. This story is developing by the hour, and you don't want to miss what happens next. For 48 hours before the split, 3i Atlas maintained a perfectly stable orbit. Every major observatory on Earth was tracking it. NASA, ESA, observatories in Chile, Hawaii, Japan. The data was clean, predictable, no unusual velocity fluctuations, no orientation changes, no gravitational anomalies. The object was following every known law of celestial mechanics down to the millisecond. Then without warning, it accelerated. Not a small adjustment, not instrument error. A massive, unprecedented acceleration that violated basic physics. When a comet moves away from the sun, solar gravity weakens. Objects slow down. That's fundamental orbital mechanics. But 3i Atlas did the opposite. The farther it traveled from the sun, the faster it moved. Exponentially, multiple independent observatories confirmed it. Chile, Hawaii, the European Space Observatory. The acceleration was real, measurable, and impossible to explain through natural means. Here's what makes this terrifying. There was no propulsion signature, no ionized gas jets, no plasma tail, no spectral changes indicating outgassing. The object accelerated in absolute silence. Teams at Harvard, Caltech, and the European Space Physics Center ran every simulation. Gravitational influence from Jupiter. No. Interplanetary magnetic fields? No. Solar wind pressure? No. Internal gas release from a porous structure? None of the models fit. The data showed no physical mechanism that could produce this acceleration. Which means we're looking at something beyond our current understanding of physics. Or something that isn't natural at all. 36 hours before the split, every telescope pointed at 3i Atlas detected something new. Energy pulses emanating from the object's core. Not random bursts. Not the natural radiation patterns. Perfect pulses repeating every 11 minutes. Calculated to nanosecond precision. Nothing in nature produces this level of regularity. Pulsars, the most stable rotating objects in the universe, show microscopic fluctuations over time. That's inevitable. But 3i Atlas was different. Its signal was absolutely precise. Like the heartbeat of a machine. The astronomical community split immediately. One group argued this could be an unknown physical phenomenon. Some energy reaction in the object's core we've never observed before. The other group, including experts in quantum energy and remote sensing, believed this precision could only be artificial. The product of intelligence, not chance. When the pulse data was analyzed, a pattern emerged. The sequence followed a mathematical structure, repeating cycles with clear organization. When compared to artificial signals created by humans, the stability and waveform similarity was striking. If those pulses were controlled, if the acceleration was intentional, then 3i Atlas wasn't just passing through our solar system. It was announcing itself. Let me be clear about what I'm saying. We may have just witnessed communication from a non-terrestrial source. Whether that's probe technology, an automated system, or something else entirely. The precision exceeds the limits of natural phenomena. 18 hours before the split, telescopes from South America to Asia recorded something that silenced even the skeptics. The object's shape began to change. Initially subtle, a slight shift in light curvature, a faint elongation in the spectral profile. Within two hours, the change became undeniable. I Atlas transformed from a roughly spherical shape into a cylinder. Symmetrical, smooth, purposeful. In two hours, a mass thousands of feet in diameter completely restructured itself. This is physically impossible. No known material, rock, ice, or metal, can sustain rapid deformation without fracturing. The compressive forces alone would tear any solid object apart. Classical mechanics doesn't allow it. Relativistic physics doesn't allow it. Yet the object remained intact. Data from Chile, Japan, and South Africa confirmed the same observations. The surface didn't melt. Didn't crack. It changed at precise geometric rates, as if undergoing controlled transformation. Like a machine preparing for launch. Then the 11-minute pulse sequence that had been regular for hours suddenly stopped. All emission signals ceased. No radiation. No energy waves. Complete silence. 
The object stabilized in its new cylindrical form. Instruments went quiet. An eerie stillness fell over every observation system. None of us understood what had just happened. We were watching the data stream in, but we had no framework for interpreting it. We didn't know at the time that this silence was preparation. Because 11 hours later, 3i Atlas would do something no human was prepared to witness. 11 hours ago, after that long period of unnatural stability, the object split apart. No explosion. No fragmentation. No debris field. It separated along a single precise line, as if following a pre-programmed sequence. Two halves, exactly equal in size, drifting apart in perfect balance. For tracking purposes, observatories designated them Object A and Object B. Initially, both maintained stable parallel orbits. Completely predictable trajectories. Then Object B changed direction, not a gradual curve, not orbital correction. A perfect 90-degree turn that no object following ballistic physics can make. It accelerated suddenly, reaching velocities far beyond known physical limits. And then it vanished. Not obscured. Not out of range. Gone. One moment it was visible on every monitoring system. Optical telescopes. Infrared arrays. Radio tracking. Military satellites with classified signal analysis capabilities. All of them had lock. Then, in less than a millisecond, every signal cut off. NASA's Deep Space Network lost track immediately. The European Space Agency confirmed the same result. No reflections. No after effects. No light scattering. No gravitational signature. An object miles in diameter, moving faster than anything natural, simply disappeared from the universe as if it had never existed. From the control centers, the whispers began. Some suggested Object B hadn't actually disappeared, but had cloaked itself. Light bending technology. Gravitational manipulation. Even dimensional phase shifting. These theories sound like fiction, but the data forced us to consider them. Because if Object B can hide completely from all human observation technology, it's still out there. Silent. Invisible. Possibly watching. Four hours after the split, while teams worldwide scrambled to locate the missing half, a new anomaly emerged from the half that remained. A faint signal in the radio spectrum, initially dismissed as background noise. But when teams at Arecibo cleaned up the signal, what appeared left everyone speechless. It wasn't random static. It was structured communication. A repeating pattern of tones, rising and falling with mathematical precision, forming ratios identical to prime numbers. The same kind of sequence humanity sent into deep space on the Voyager Golden Record. Except this time, we weren't the ones sending it. For 31 minutes, the signal continued. Perfectly. Purposefully. Every major listening station on Earth received it. But only stations aimed directly at 3i Atlas. Nothing else in the sky produced this pattern. Here's where it gets stranger. The signal wasn't beaming outward into space. It was beaming inward, towards the exact coordinates where Object B disappeared. Almost like a summons. Object A seemed to be calling out, sending instructions or perhaps a wake-up signal to its missing counterpart. Then, exactly on the last pulse, all transmissions stopped. Complete silence again, but only for minutes. Because deep space sensors picked up a faint gravitational ripple, coming from a point nearly two astronomical units closer to Earth than where Object B vanished. Whatever disappeared wasn't just hiding. It was moving. And it was heading toward us. As gravitational reading stabilized, the trajectory became clear. Object B was no longer missing. It was approaching Earth. Initial calculations suggested a flyby trajectory a gentle passage through the outer solar system. But as measurements continued, that changed. The object's speed increased exponentially. Small adjustments to its orbit occurred with suspicious regularity. Each velocity change was precise, fully aligned with orbital mechanics as if calculated deliberately. The data pointed to one conclusion. The object wasn't just moving. It was navigating NASA, Harvard, and the European Space Network attempted to keep this quiet. Officially, they called it a gravitational anomaly. But internal encrypted communications told a different story. Leaked recordings later confirmed something terrifying. The orbital patterns showed clear signs of active control. When the James Webb Space Telescope redirected to observe the target with adaptive optics, the image stunned the analysis team. Instead of a rough, cratered comet surface, what appeared was smooth, faintly reflective, like liquid metal, perfectly symmetrical, no dust, no cracks, no natural geological features. 
Spectroscopic analysis showed its composition didn't match any known material in the solar system. Its near-perfect reflectivity suggested purpose-built engineering. Then Object B did something else impossible. Traveling at millions of miles per hour, it slowed down. Smooth, steady deceleration, occurring precisely as it entered Jupiter's outer orbit. No reaction thrust. No energy release. No impact signs. Just perfect deceleration that no law of physics allows without advanced force control. From that moment, every major agency went silent. No scientific publications. No press conferences. The last report received was an encrypted message from the Deep Space Network. Object B holding position. No further movement detected. Awaiting instructions. The message was unsigned, uncoded, and ended with a string of characters no one has deciphered. What terrified analysts most was the final phrase, repeated three times. Awaiting instructions. For six hours, Object B remained motionless near Jupiter's orbit. Not a single emission. Not a detectable signal. The silence was unnatural, as if the entire solar system was holding its breath. Then, at exactly so three Blauer UTC, everything changed. Every major radio telescope on Earth detected a massive electromagnetic burst. Perfectly focused, synchronized with three-eye atlas position. The object that had been silent for hours suddenly came alive, emitting pulses across multiple frequencies. Gamma rays, microwaves, x-rays, all arranged in patterns too complex to be coincidence. At first, it looked like chaos. But when the data was decoded through a spectrometer, a chilling discovery emerged. The waveforms contained symmetrical patterns resembling blueprints or diagrams. The pulses weren't just signals. They were instructions. What was more haunting was their direction. They weren't beaming into deep space. They were aimed straight at Earth. Within minutes of transmission, several orbiting satellites stopped communicating. Defense systems went offline. Initially dismissed as coincidence. A solar flare. Cosmic interference. But the timing was too precise. Each failure occurred exactly when the pulse hit Earth's upper atmosphere. It was as if Object B wasn't just sending a message, but activating something already here. NASA immediately restricted data access. Observatories went offline. Telescope feeds were rerouted. But independent astronomers kept their systems open long enough to record one final detail. While half of 3i Atlas remained near its original position, Object A had begun to glow. A steady, deep light flickering beneath its surface in perfect rhythm with signals from its twin. One sending, one receiving. Together, they were waking up. Over the past 12 hours, both halves have begun moving again. Not drifting. Moving with purpose. Object A, glowing near Mars, has started rotating slowly and deliberately. Object B, near Jupiter, mirrors that movement perfectly. Every degree of rotation. Every angle. Exactly synchronized, as if the two pieces are aligned with something. Astronomers worldwide noticed a disturbing pattern. Projected forward, the axes of both rotations converge not in deep space, not near the sun, but directly along Earth's orbit. That's when panic started spreading through private networks and encrypted forums. Leaks from inside agencies claimed the two halves were creating a shared magnetic field, a giant electromagnetic structure linking them. Another leak showed energy signatures similar to early particle accelerator experiments, but on a planetary scale. The two pieces aren't just aligned. They're forming a system. Then something stranger happened. At the exact moment alignment began, Earth's magnetic field recorded subtle fluctuations. Small but measurable. Compass readings shifted. GPS accuracy dropped. Migratory birds reportedly changed direction mid-flight across the globe. The invisible balance of our planet seemed to shake for just a moment, as if something huge and distant had touched the edge of our world's energy field. A ripple in the invisible ocean of space. Now, as the connection tightens, one question echoes through every laboratory, every observatory, every sleepless office at NASA and beyond. What happens when the two halves finally connect? This is not speculation. This is documented observation from multiple independent sources worldwide. Something is happening that we don't understand. An object from interstellar space has demonstrated behavior that defies physics. Split with surgical precision, partially vanished from all detection systems, and is now coordinating movements that appear targeted at Earth. I don't have answers. No one does. What I have is data, pattern recognition, and a growing certainty that we're witnessing something unprecedented in human history. 
the next phase of this event could happen at any moment. Object A and Object B continue their synchronized rotation. The electromagnetic field between them strengthens. Earth sits directly in their projected alignment path. Subscribe to this channel. Turn on notifications. This story is developing in real time, and when the next development occurs, you'll want to know immediately. Drop a comment below with where you're watching from. We're witnessing this together from every corner of the planet. Share this video. Not for drama. Not for clicks. Because this information needs to reach as many people as possible before whatever comes next happens. I'm monitoring all available data streams. Every update from observatories still sharing information. Every leak from agencies trying to maintain silence. When something changes, you'll hear it here first. This is interstellar evidence. Where we separate science from speculation. Where we let the data speak. And right now, the data is screaming. Whatever 3i Atlas is, wherever it came from, it's no longer just passing through our solar system. It's positioning itself, coordinating, preparing for something. The universe just announced it's watching us. The question is, what happens when it decides to make contact? Clear skies. And stay alert.